Hey guys, so it is Saturday and I am out running around my little small hometown, sorry for the weird lighting, um, looking at antique shops because I'm trying to finally buy enough stuff to finish my entryway in my house. Um, we just took down all of the Christmas decor last night, so I, I don't know if you guys ever feel the same way as me, but whenever I take down all of my Christmas stuff, the house feels empty and kind of bare. So, it's Saturday and Dean was going to be in town for a thing that he had to do. So I was like, I'll just take the boys. We'll go get some hot chocolate. We'll rent a Redbox movie so they can drink hot chocolate and watch a movie in the car. And I can run into some little local antique shops. Um, and so that's what I've been doing. I've already been to one, which you guys will have seen already by now. And I bought a good bit of stuff for the entryway. Um, I also bought a big cabinet. Let me turn my windshield wipers off. It's snowing a little bit here, so my windshield wipers are going. I also bought a really tall cabinet that's kind of cool looking. It's um, it's like an old grandfather clock, and they've taken all of the clock pieces out, and they've taken the glass out, and they replaced the glass with um, tin, and then there is like a cabinet that closes at the bottom. So that's gonna go in my guest bathroom. I have this really small narrow space next to our pedestal sink. Um, and then there's like a gold gilded mirror above the pedestal sink. Um, and I just, I have had the hardest time finding a bookshelf that is like skinny enough to fit in that space. And this is really pretty. It's got like this, uh, this little ornament thing that's in the top of it and it's got all this carving at the top. And um, I'll have some, like greenery stuff around it but anyway I'm really happy I've, I've seen that piece in this antique store that I have gone into like several times like I probably for a year I've seen it sitting in there and every time I look at it I'm like you know that would fit in that bathroom but I just never I don't know what's held me back from buying it but today I'm just like ready to be done with some of these rooms and getting stuff in there so I bought it um I love that it has doors that you can't see through because I'll store um, like extra toilet paper and little things that a guest would need in that bathroom. Um, yeah, so it'll just be nice to kind of have that stuff closed, the cabinets closed and kind of hidden. So I've got that. Dean will have to go and pick that stuff up and some tables that I bought. He'll have to go pick that stuff up later because it's snowing today and he does not have a tarp with him in his truck and we didn't want to try to risk any of the wood getting wet or anything like that. So, um, got that, got um, a good bit of the antiques, like I said, for the entryway. I am getting ready to run into a thrift store here in town just to see what they have. Sometimes we get lucky and there's like a piece of furniture that works for us um, in the thrift store. And they have a lot of pieces of art in here um, and little knickknacks, I don't know. So, anyway, I am going to run in here and see what they have. And then I've got one more newish antique store in town that I'm going to try. Um, the last time we went, it was probably, I would say, half full. And I'm hoping by now that more people have filled in the booths and there are um, other things that are there. So I'm going to run in here and see what we can find.
guys. So it is Friday afternoon. Um, it's almost been a whole week since I went antiquing and Dean was just able to get out to some of the stores today to pick up some of the larger things that we bought. So I'm going to flip the camera around and show you what I got and kind of give you an idea of where I'm going to put it. And then later today, I'm going to kind of clean out some spaces and actually put everything where it's going to go and get it set up at least as much as I can do today. Um, and then I'll take you along with me during that process as well. Now I was going to set the camera up and show myself showing you everything, but I have all of these windows in my sitting room and it's really weird lighting. It makes the background really, um, bright. And so it just looks weird. So I thought I'll just flip the camera around, walk you around, point out things and show you what I got and where I'm thinking it's going to go. Okay, so the first thing I got is this antique chair. Um, I think it is so pretty. Dean calls it like a puke green color, <laughs> which it sort of is. It's kind of like a greenish gold color, I don't know. Um, it's really soft, like almost like a velvet feel, um, and it has really pretty wood carving all the way around it. It was made, or it comes from Century Chair Company in Hickory, North Carolina, and Hickory's kind of like a neighbor to where we're located. But I just love it. It's in really good condition. The wood has held up. I love all the carving and the, the little scrolly feet and all of that good stuff. So I love this. This is going to go, I think it's going to go in our entryway. That was the plan. That's what I bought it for. Um, this table right here is a plant stand and it will sit behind this wood carved table. So these are both dark woods. And again, you can see all of the pretty carving on that. That will also go in the entryway and I'll have some things decorating this table and I'm going to put a plant on this. Now, all the way back in this corner, you can see I have these two antique brass lamps. Um, I have not found a place for those yet. They're really tall and I'm not really sure where to put those. I kind of thought that those would go on the tables by my and Dean's, uh, like on our nightstands by our bed, but I'm not sure yet. And I actually kind of thought, I wonder if it would look good on this plant stand like I know it's for plants but it could look cool to make the lamp a little higher um anyway so I may try that just to see what I think um and if I don't like it then I'll probably put a plant on there that trails like has some little um like things that trail down um in the back and then it'll sit behind that table like I said so I also got two mirrors you can see this one it's like a black distressed wooden frame. This one I'm not sure where I'm gonna put. I actually thought this is a really nice mirror. You can't have too many mirrors in your house, so I am gonna buy that. And then I found this gold, like gilded mirror right here, um, which is in really great shape. And I'm thinking that this is the mirror, let me put that back, that's gonna go right over here when we get our mantle put up and all of the shelves on the wall. So I have always wanted a gold framed mirror on above the mantle. And I'm thinking that this one is perfect. It will fit right on that space, leaving a little bit of the wall showing around it. Um, and then I'll have some room on the mantle to put like candlesticks and things like that. So I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna put it up there, or I'm gonna have Dean put it up there. <laughs> and we'll see how it goes when we get that done. This is a project he'll probably be working on this weekend or next week getting this mantle and all of the shelving finished and we've got these boxes over here that have my brass my antique brass brackets that go under there um so yeah so all of that will be cleaned up and i'll have the shelves all organized and i've got some stuff here that'll probably go on some shelves as well so anyway that's the two mirrors um as far as pictures that i got on the wall or i got to go on the wall let me get over here I bought this one actually at a thrift store and I, I think I paid like $5 for this. I don't know what it is about this picture, but I love it. I don't know if it's like the generational aspect of the young girl and the older man, or it just looks, I like that it's dark. I don't know. It's just loving looking in a way. Um, she's interested in what he's doing. He's probably explaining something to her. And I just love the kind of family aspect of that and I like the wooden frame and for five dollars you seriously cannot beat that so I'm gonna put that somewhere maybe I actually had Dean hold it up the other day in our aunt in our dining room just to see what that was like um and it looks pretty good there now this is another painting that I got just a floral painting I love the golden black um frame this is the same type of um picture or photo um that I have in our family room I have two others that are a little bit brighter colored on one side of our door and I thought I would take this and put it on the whole other side of the wall um, above a little plant that I have in there since they're similar and I can't but they're different they're similar but they're different so I like that 
Now this, I'm not gonna open this one, but I am gonna show you the one under it because they're basically the same, I think. Let me move this. And this is upside down. So these are like framed busts. Um, so it's not like your typical bust that sits on like a shelf or some sort of um, stand, but this one has like the green in it and our entryway is green. It's got like the little gold edge right here on this frame. There's another one that is different than this, but similar. And so I'm either gonna put them side by side or across from each other in the entryway. I'm not sure yet, but that's one of them. And then this one's the other one. Um, so let's see, that's pretty much it for this stuff in here. I got some stuff in this basket. I found two baskets. I always buy baskets when I come across them. I found this little copper pot. Um, I actually broke the handle on accident, so I actually have to get Dean to, um, I bent it, so <laughs> I've gotta get him to stretch that back out and put that back together, but that I'm gonna put somewhere, like on a shelf, and have some stuff coming out of it. I got these two things. This is a letter, an old letter, um, written in 1918, and that handwriting is just beautiful, and if you read the letter, it's just really sweet. It's just someone, you know, talking to someone that they hadn't seen in a long while, and I really liked that. Um, let's see, this has some stuff written on the back, but I can't really make out what all it says or where this is from. But I love the look of that building. It looks like it's from Europe. Um, so I wanted to put this and this letter on this wooden table in the entryway. So that's what that's for. Let me stick those things in there. Or maybe, maybe I'll stick them in this little tin like this. There were a bunch of these photos and letters and just little things that were stuck in like a little pot like this. And I thought those were my favorites. And I thought I could get some more later if I wanted to. Um, this is a coffee table book. It's called A Southern Album. I usually, on this coffee table, I have a little tray here that I keep books on or whatever, but um, this one I saw and I loved it because it's about this area of the southern region and the little stories and places, um, photos, things like that of people around here, old photos. I just love stuff like that. Like I like to sit and read about how people lived a long time ago and um, it's kind of torn up, like the cover's a little torn up. Actually, let me look at this. Oh yeah, so it's kind of just a nice, well, I'm not showing you. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty nice, the, the cover is. But this paper cover has seen better days. All right, so that's one thing that I got. And then this I bought, let me show you the other thing that goes with it. It's all wrapped up. It's really hard to do this one-handed. I really thought I would be able to set my camera up and do it some other way, sorry. <laughs> All right, so I found this like, I don't know what these are actually called. It's like a, ter you can make a terrarium in there, but this little glass globe top, and I love that it's old and kind of worn and stained, and it sits on there, and I actually think that I will make a terrarium in there. I'll get like a little bowl, and I'll put my terrarium stuff in that, and then I'm gonna set that on a table. So that actually may go on this table in the entryway, because I was reading in my book, which you can see it right over there. It's called Home Sweet Maison, Maison? I don't know, it's a French word for home. <laughs> and I cannot speak French worth a lick. So anyway, um, it was talking about your entryway and how your entryway should reflect you um, and like your family and give people an idea of who you are as soon as they enter your home. And I thought this would be perfect to put plants in because I'm an herbalist and I love plants and nature and I'm a homeschool mom and we are all about nature and science and all that good stuff. So I got that. Speaking of things that reflect you, I also got this lovely little brass mortar and pestle. If I can get it out as well. I probably should have unwrapped all of this before I started doing this little haul for you guys. Throw that off there in the floor. Yeah, so see, this is like an old um, mortar and pestle that they would have used in an apothecary or pharmacy somewhere. And so I'm gonna set that in our entryway also. All right, so let's see what else we've got in here. I did buy these awesome candlesticks. I'm not sure how they're gonna look up here on my shelf with that big mirror because they're kind of large, but they're brass. And they have these crystals that hang on them. 
So I need to polish the crystals and get some pretty candles to go in there. But there are two of them, one here and one here. Oh, and let me show you, they have like a cherub. Can you see the cherub's face? Yeah, right there. And they're both similar, let me see. Yeah, they're both exactly the same thing, the cherubs on both sides, but they'll sit on either side of the mantle and yeah, okay, that's it. That's all I got in there. So these are the big things that I got at the antique store the other day. I'm gonna take you in one more room and show you the cabinet that I got for our guest bathroom. Um, it's too big to be out here, so I'll take you in there and show you that. All right, so this is the cabinet that we bought for our guest bathroom. This bathroom is tiny. It's very difficult to get in here and even get a good shot. So as you can tell, this is an old grandfather clock that has been made into a cabinet. They've taken out all the clock parts. They've replaced the glass with this um, distressed and um, rusted tin. And um, I bought this little garland to go over it, but I actually think I'm gonna move that garland to hang over my apothecary in the, um, the, the dining room. And I'm gonna put a plant, some sort of like a low light plant up there that'll trail down um, that likes bathrooms. But there's a little gold rimmed mirror. We've got our pedestal sink in here. This room is not really done. Um, again, like this is one of those rooms that I've kind of held off on. I usually keep my Christmas cactus right here and this um, stays that way all the time. I have these dried flowers here and then this is another little picture that I got from an antique store. I like the brown and yellow kind of theme going on in here. Anyway, let me show you in these drawers. These little um, knobs are kind of distressed, you know, and the tin is polished on this side, but on the inside, you can see it's really rusty looking. All right, so, this is the inside of the cabinet, and the top is exactly the same. The bottom, again, cabinet. So I'm just gonna keep bathroom things in here that I wanna keep hidden. And I actually may keep these doors open. I kinda like how that looks. Let me see if I can back up and show you. I kinda like how that looks, and maybe keep that looking nice. And then keep the top drawers closed, and maybe have like extra towels, or just things that I don't want to be seen in the top, and leave the bottom open. So anyway, this space between this pedestal sink and the wall was very narrow and I looked for bookshelves and other little cabinets forever, it felt like, at least for the past year, and I have not been able to find anything that fit in here. And I've seen this cabinet, I don't know how many times, I think I said this last week when I was shopping, and I just, I've been drawn to it every time. Um, and I think pulling the tin in with the gold, like it has the gold hinges and we've got our gold mirror here and just different things like that. And I'll add some other pieces here in the bathroom, um, especially like over here on this wall and in the back to kind of fill this area out and make this blend in really nicely. So yeah, I'm excited about getting this decorated and set up. Okay guys, so I wanted to show you what I finished up in this room, this entryway. Um, there's still some things that need to be done in here, which I think that's kind of always the case. Um, I need to find some pictures for this side of the wall. This side of the wall, obviously our crown and molding needs put up because we haven't done that anywhere in the house yet. But for the most part, I like the little antique setup that I have here from the other day. All my plants right there. Um, yeah, so see, I still have my little barrel here. We just need to get some umbrellas and walking sticks in there and I need a rug. <laughs> Move the Nerf bullets off the floor, but I need a big um, like circle rug for this floor. So that is the entryway almost completely finished um, other than a little thing, a couple things for the wall and the rug for the floor. All right, and this room is pretty much the same as the last time I showed you when I got the cabinet in here. Um, I did fill it with some towels and some extra soap right there. And then inside of these two cabinets will be just storage for extra things. I need to move my Christmas cactus back in here. That's usually where it goes because it's a really dark room. And I ordered some things off of Amazon, um, like a toilet paper roll holder thing that'll go there. Um, I got um, like a towel holder that'll go here, a trash can, some things for cleaning, just different things like that. So this room is almost done. Um, I'm really glad that I got that cabinet. This wall right here, I think I showed you guys this before. I got this picture at an antique store um, probably back in the fall but because this room is so small let me close this door it's just you know a big creamy wall and I was thinking we're gonna put the toilet paper holder I, I bought some antique brass 
I think they're, oh no, they were oil rubbed bronze. That's what I got for this room. Anyway, so that'll go on the wall down here. But I thought I would do like a gallery wall up here with a lot of different pictures and prints and things just to kind of go with this little bird picture that I have in here. I think that would be nice on this wall because there's not a lot that we can do right here because of the door. The door opens right there. So I thought just having a bunch of pictures on the wall would be really good. Um, and maybe I'll put like a lace curtain kind of thing that drapes down the side here on this window. Um, get my plant back in here. And then this will all kind of stay the same. Obviously from molding. Um, yeah. So trash can down here on the floor. And I may change that rug out. I'm not really sure. But I think this is good. So anyway, thank you all so much for joining me for my antiquing trip and trying to find stuff to fill this bathroom and the entryway. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.